What's up guys? Greetings from Southern California. I haven't been here in a while since I left to move to Miami, but I came here for a family event and I decided to spend a few extra days here while I'm on the West Coast. Might as well, right? I spent some time in San Diego and I spent some time in Malibu. So check out that video when I release it, the one on Malibu, but this one is gonna be focused on San Diego. And for those of you who've been subscribed for, I guess like two years or more, you might remember that when I lived here for two weeks, when I was kind of like a nomad traveling around, I spent two weeks in San Diego and I had made a video called Gay Dating in San Diego. So I guess this is like part two of that. And the funny thing is, I completely got deja vu this time around because, and I forgot that I had had this experience. I knew I had made a video. I remembered not meeting anybody and being kind of disappointed by the gay dating, you know, scene here, I guess. Um, but I forgot that I had had this specific experience, which I had again. Um, and that is that I, you know, you start going to all these beaches, right? In San Diego, that's what you do. There's a ton of beaches. There's the family oriented beaches. There's the ones that like the only locals know because they're small beaches tucked away. Then there's like the super tourist heavy ones. I will tell you every beach consistently, there are so many hotties, every single one. It makes sense because these are people who live in a place that's warm all year round, that is um, like outdoorsy, it's, it's easy all year round in San Diego to hike, to go to the beach, even if you don't go for swimming or for surfing, just like go for a jog, go for a walk. So people don't look vitamin D deficient, like I used to when I lived in New York City. Um, so people just look happy, healthy, and fit. So I was kind of excited, like, damn, like, might, might meet somebody. <laughs> and as soon as I went to the apps, that's when I, the deja vu hit me and I was like, where are these guys? Like, where do they, They're, I don't see them. Tinder especially, the crop of guys on Tinder, I was very disappointed by. And I went through everybody in a matter of, I wanna say one or two days. Now, of course, when I travel, I have a pretty limited radius that I set uh, distance wise on an app like Tinder. So I think I put like five miles, um, but I was like, this is it. I matched with one guy. And if I remember correctly, I wanna say that when I lived here two, for two weeks, two years ago, I wanna say I didn't match with anybody. If I remember correctly, I'd have to go watch that video again. But I was just like shocked because you see all these men around and you're like, they can't all be straight. It, it can be that every single one of them is straight. Now I will say the hotties that I did find on the apps were on the seedier apps, the hookup oriented apps, the grinders, the Jack, the scrubs, all those. I don't love those apps but that was the only place that I saw hotties that I knew were men who were attracted to other men. So I started some conversations while I was on these apps. Um, nothing actually materialized in real life. Like I didn't meet up with anybody, uh, though I wanted to, much to my chagrin, I was open to, to, to meeting guys while I was down in San Diego. Um, but it didn't happen and I also found that my like response rate was very, low there and I don't know if it's because there's so many <laughs> attractive guys that it's like you know there's a lot to pick from and so they're not that interested I don't know one interesting thing though that I noticed is that a lot of the guys who I reached out to or started talking to literally like the next day it would say they were you know hundreds of miles away or thousands of miles away so they were just traveling like I was and I never realized how um, I guess transient of a city San Diego is like I always thought of it as like a beach town where of course there's gonna be tourists that come into any beach town but I thought that it I, I, I don't think of San Diego as like a tourist hub and I left this time feeling that it's actually more like Miami where I live than I realized in that there are seemingly constantly people in and out uh, making a trip through Southern California I guess like I was this time around so it's ironic that I left New York City you know, a few years back, partially because of this reason, I felt like it was this revolving door where there's just so many people that it's like you're always moving on to the next thing, where it feels like connections with people are, are more likely to be superficial because it's like in and out, there's always a new crop coming in, there's always people leaving the city, moving to the city. So it's, it's ironic for me to see that maybe that's just kind of everywhere that's not a super tiny small town in the middle of nowhere. I really like San Diego personally, like just for the beaches and you know, the weather is great and all that. Um, and to me, it's like an unpretentious beach town. Like it's not pretending to be anything other than what it is, 
but I always feel in these places that it must be difficult to be gay, especially Southern California. Everything's so stretched out. You have to drive everywhere. And places where things are farther apart and people are farther apart, it always just seems like it must be more difficult to connect. I mean, that's how I felt partially in Los Angeles too. And I do remember when I visited San Diego two years ago, pre-COVID, when I went to Hillcrest, the gay neighborhood then, and checked out some of the bars, I, I remember being disappointed. So I don't know, it's interesting how in these beach towns, it's like a double-edged sword. Like people typically are more low key, they're more easygoing, uh, and, and there's less pretension and ego, but there are these other facets that seem to make it potentially more difficult to be gay or just as difficult to be gay and, and try to create like a you know gay community and have gay people around you and, and actually you know have gay dating prospects. If any of you guys live in San Diego or have spent quite a bit of time there, I would love to hear your take on this.